Hello folks and welcome. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about automatic wallpaper changer. Uh, the type that you can actually bring your own wallpapers or your own digital photos and uh, introduce them and actually do them in random order and actually mix them also up with uh, stuff coming off the internet. So uh, this video will be more than two minutes. Um, my all of my videos on my YouTube site have chapters or timelines on them, so you can also start and stop these things. So the application that I'm referring to today, I'm going to activate, and um, I'm going to point to it for a second, and we're going to first look for it in the uh, actual pop shop. It's called Variety. And at the same time, I'll activate it from the standard pop OS wallpaper. So. Let me actually turn it on. So basically it will change, in this case, every five seconds. And I'll allow this to come from different sources. I'll activate all of them and just let this thing run while I'm looking for the pop shop. So what you're looking for is uh, this particular application or piece of software. It's called Variety. It's an automatic wallpaper changer. And I know five seconds is excessive, but I thought I'd get your attention with all that stuff going on in the background. So let's do this uh, in a more reasonable manner and change this up from five seconds to like five minutes. I could put in five hours and five days also. I could also pause this. Okay, and then close this down for a second. And I have no idea where that photo came from or wallpaper. So in this case, it actually came from Flickr. I'm waiting for it to pull up. Okay. So what I can also do is uh, I can intermix a lot of things. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually add your own folder. So what I'm going to do is remove that folder on purpose. So now you'll just have whatever the default is. So I don't really use these guys over here for a variety after you install it. You just double click it and it'll tell you. And more importantly, you'll have an icon up here. You'll see that during the installation process. And it installs very quickly. Starting Variety when the computer starts doesn't mean that you have to always use the Variety automatic wallpaper changer because when this is unpaused, you can technically go right click, change background, and go right back to your Pop! OS wallpaper if you like. And this will stay this way. You can also hit image and depending on if it's running, you can hit pause or resume here. This will change to pause if this is running. Example would be is uh, it, it says it's ready. So let me open this back up and now I'm going to put this to change every five minutes and then I'm going to click over here and hit image and then hit pause on current. Okay, so when I do that, it will uncheck this box right here. I'm just giving you some tips on how to use this. Hopefully this will be helpful to you if you decide to try this. I actually been using this for many years and uh, I use it on quite a few Linux distributions actually. But I enjoy that because I can bring in my own folder and mix it in here and you're going to see how versatile this thing is. So as as you install Variety and let it run for a while, it starts collecting photos and wallpaper off the internet. In this case, NASA picture of the day. And I can manually pick these wallpapers. And more importantly, when you see them, it doesn't matter if this is open or closed as long as it's running. You can go up here and click view where that source is coming from. And it'll go directly to NASA or APOD at nasa.gov, for instance, and give me more information about that gum nebula in this case. And close. So let's talk about adding your own folder. You open up your file manager, and uh, I could uh, make this slightly bigger if you like, and I'll resize the icons also if you like. If you haven't seen my video on file managers, uh, you may want to look at those on my YouTube site. Now, speaking of um, subscriptions, and uh, I know a lot of people will go, well, I don't have a Google account, so I can't subscribe. 
you can always bookmark you can always bookmark my um, my YouTube site you can also use in any standard web browser search field at Linux for seniors one word and it will find that also and then you can click on my site and bookmark it there also let's move along so in my pictures folder I created a subfolder called wallpaper you can call it whatever you want and then I dumped a bunch of well wallpapers and also photos let me make this full screen and I'll resize these uh, so you can see how much I have in here and a lot of them are mixed so I'm gonna make these larger again I'm just doing this on the fly and uh, you know I got this uh, wallpaper from I don't remember where and then I have uh, even strange stuff like that. And, um, you know, you, you collect a lot of stuff over the years, or at least I have. Like that one came from Wallpapers, Wide.com, for instance, shows these guys skateboarding on top of buildings. It's just strange stuff. But you can also bring in your own photos, your digital photos of, uh, well, nature or our kids or your friends, your pets, whatever it might be. So here's one of mine that I mixed in here. This was taken with an iPhone 12. It's an Oregon uh, USA coastline, for instance. And you can throw them all into a folder. Then after you do that, uh, you can have variety actually use that wallpaper by going to preferences and hitting add folder up to 10,000 images. I think that's probably plenty, but you can also create more than one subfolder. So as soon as I do that, I go find my subfolder, in this case it's called wallpaper, and I hit add. I could also add another one, and another one, and another one. You can also uncheck these things, so where it doesn't use any wallpapers off the internet, it uses your own folder. In my case, Mr. Max is my user, my fictitious user. Home folder, Mr. Max, pictures, wallpaper. So when I click that, I get kind of like a previewer down there. And you can see that photo is sideways. And I'll click it and it self-corrects itself, depending on your screen resolution aspect. In other words, uh, my screen is longer, wider than it is in the vertical fashion. Here's another one that's sideways. It's a, kind of a strange photo I took of a tree growing out of a rock, it looks like. But it doesn't matter which one of you are clicking on manually. I'm just clicking on even though this is still pause, I can still change the wallpaper manually. And the other cool thing about this, I call it the previewer, but um, you know, I'm sure that uh, Variety has a different name for it. But you take your mouse pointer and you kind of scroll to the right. And I'm going to let this thing run. My hand is completely off the mouse right now. And it'll keep scrolling until it gets to the end. As I move my mouse toward the right, it speeds up. I'm... I'd, all I did was slightly move it and it started to take off. And then I'm going to go the op opposite direction. So it's kind of a cool feature in my book. And anyways, once you settle in on whatever you're doing, you could leave that. You know, I'm going to close this now or hit quit, but it still stays resident up here. Until I quit the application itself. But you can also hit next or previous up here, or you can do another nice thing. And in some distributions, this does not work, but in this one, it does. If you take your mouse pointer and point at that icon, take your mouse scroll wheel and scroll up and down. All I'm doing is changing wallpaper manually. You can also click and hit next or previous because this application also works in several other Linux distros or distributions. Okay, so I can, uh, I'm still on pause because that says remove, re resume, sorry, resume. So I know my preferences are set to pause. So now that I have my home folder, Mr. Max Pictures wallpaper, I can activate this wallpaper thing and go from well, five seconds, five minutes, five hours, or five days. I'm gonna do five seconds just to let you see the paper. It'll cycle through these wallpapers every five seconds. That's excessive, but these are my own. This is not coming off the internet. This is what's in that folder I, I pointed to earlier. 
Okay, and I got some strange stuff. So if I wanted to pause this, I would just pause on current and it'll remain this way. I could also right click on my screen, change background and go right back to my Pop! OS wallpaper or the dark one. Then I can go back up here again and reactivate this either by hitting resume or I could click this and hit preferences. It's a very versatile tool. So I'm going to leave this on, uh, on pause for a second and reactivate these. All right, so at, the only thing I added was my personal folder. So as this thing collects into the buffer, these are, um, these are photos coming off this particular website, for instance. So like right now, if I needed to know where that came from, I'm going to close all this. And, uh, you know, you're working in a windowed environment. Uh, let me kind of do it this way. And I'm going to re redo the icon size. So let's say you're doing something in here. You see this wonderful photo come up and then go, hey, that's cool looking. Where did that come from? Well, I could view this at Bing. So I'm going to open that up and let's see what kind of information I can get. Ah, it's an Icelandic horse. You get uh, all, all kinds of information about that particular photo, for instance. All right, you get the idea so far? All right, hopefully. Let's find another one. Let's go with another source. You have Google Earth. So you can click that weird looking photo and you're going, okay, where did that one come from? And I'll close that also or hit quit. And, uh, well, let's view at Earth and see what we can get for information. It actually gives me a map down here in the lower right-hand corner where this was shot. There's one example of something from coming from Earth. And then I'm going to hit Preferences and then switch this up to Bing. Or to NASA Picture of the Day. I'm not sure what that is, but... I'm going to hit quit, walk over to here, and view that on NASA picture of the day. John Mead. Oh, okay, now I know where that came from. So you can see how versatile this thing is. Again, I don't really deal with these guys here. I just deal with the general tab. Uh, I start mine when the computer starts on all of my distributions. Again, you can also change it to your manual wallpaper at any time. And you can change that from five seconds to five minutes to five hours to five days and put in whatever you want in here. So that would probably be more reasonable. So as you're working along, again, these pictures collect. You can do this manually also. Some of you folks that are subscribers may recognize this photo. Anyways, I'm going to hit quit. And then always remember this, even if you have this running, you can always hit pause, right click, change background and go to the wallpapers that are coming from Pop! OS, for instance. And this will remain here until I actually reactivate that. Two ways of doing it. I click on image and I hit resume or I go to here and I also go to preferences and reactivate it here. You can turn these on and off. You can also let it run for a while and you will see that it collects more pictures. This will keep growing in some of these locations. You can uncheck them and just use your own subfolders. You can create more than one by hitting add. There's a lot of variety here. No pun intended with this particular application. But more importantly, if you want a nice distraction of wallpaper, you want to bring in your own photos and stuff, you may want to check this particular piece of software out. It is available in Pop Shop for you to try out. On that note, folks, thank you for watching. Take care.